So you thought today was just another boring day. Well, this video is anything but ordinary because I'm gonna be teaching you how to apply jaw-dropping superhero view effects to characters that actually look like you. And to make this even better, we're gonna achieve all of this within a single AI platform, meaning you don't need to jump between more than one AI tool or pay for multiple memberships to achieve these results. Honestly, this workflow is so simple, I truly believe anyone can do it. I'm Jack, I've been a VFX artist in the advertising industry for over a decade now, and I've worked with many of the biggest brands on the planet. And in today's video, I'm gonna reveal the insane variety of tools available on Higgs Field AI. I'll cover prompting, image generation, and then video animation, meaning you'll learn the workflow from start to finish. If you do enjoy today's video, guys, make sure to whack a like on there for me, consider subscribing, and of course, ring that bell notification icon. And if you decide to go ahead and check out Higgs Field, be sure to click the link down below in the description. With that said, let's get straight into the video. So for starters, here we are over on ChatGPT, and I can already feel you guys hammering away in the comments. You said, Jack, you were gonna be able to do this entire workflow on a single platform. For starters, I'm using the free version of ChatGPT, and you can also completely skip this step if you wanted. We're just using ChatGPT to help flesh out our ideas. And if we head over to Higgs Field AI, you can see that there is an entire section titled Visual Effects. We can click View All Visual Effects, and all of these are pretty amazing, but many of them actually work for our concept of this video to give myself superhero powers. So what I did was I ran through and I took note of all of my favorite Higgs Field visual effects, and I just wrote them all out here doing a brief description of each one. And then I typed out this initial prompt here for ChatGPT. Of course, you could also use this with Gemini or Grok or any LLM really. I said, I want you to write me various different text prompts that I can use to generate AI images. For each power, I want the subject to have a unique outfit, but keep the clothing minimal. Block colors that work well together, have a simple streetwear vibe, focusing on oversized t-shirts and jumpers, cargo trousers, and vintage trainers. Unless specified, please randomize each outfit and setting to make them visually striking and varied. And I'm just using ChatGPT to automate this process. So I can go ahead and copy and paste all of this. We've got about 10 different examples of Higgs Field visual effects so we can whack this straight in ChatGPT and send it off. And you can see ChatGPT starting to form each of the individual text prompts for us, just really streamlining our process. And now we can head back to Higgs Field and go up to create images. You can see I've got a whole load of different images here that I've created using Higgs Field. And what I first want to go ahead and do is of course copy and paste my text prompt into this window at the bottom. And we'll just make a couple of tweaks here just to remove any mention of the powers. And now one of the great things about Higgs Field as a platform is you have access to various different image generation tools. So we can use their own model, which is called Higgs Field Soul, but we can also use Nano Banana and Sea Dream 4.0. Higgs Field Soul is very much tailored towards fashion visuals, and it does do a really amazing job of creating these kind of hyper-realistic images. We'll definitely explore that in a few Future video because it's very useful for certain workflows. But here we are looking for something a little bit more stylized and cinematic. So I'm probably going to be chopping and changing between Nano Banana and Sea Dream 4.0, my personal preference being Nano Banana. Now what I have here is a variety of different reference images that I've literally just taken on my iPhone. You could just go ahead and use these as your image reference if you wanted to. I do, however, have this pretty great render from Midjourney. Still does a really great job of capturing the clothing that I wear, the kind of cap and glasses, as well as my skin texture. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop that into this text window down below to act as our image reference. Like I say, you could just as easily go ahead and take a photo with your phone. Just make sure the image reflects the aspect ratio that you wanna get back from Nano Banana. All right, let's go ahead and generate a few different options of our character, me stood in an alleyway. Okay, so we've got our Nano Banana generations back. This one is looking pretty cool. It's got a really great likeness with me. This one here, Nano Banana just said, yeah, we don't need to see your face. Bit rude, really, uh, but that generation isn't really gonna work for us. And this one over on the left is pretty cool as well. I think both the first and third generations are both usable, but I'm leaning a little bit more towards this one here. 
Now, one of the downsides when it comes to Nano Banana is that the output resolution is not all that great, particularly if we do want to go ahead and use it for AI filmmaking. So what I'm going to do is download this first image that we like. I'm then going to head over to the top left hand corner, hover over the image tab, and you can see we have the option for Topaz High Resolution Upscaler. So we'll click into this. We can go ahead and drag and drop our image of me in the alleyway. And you have two options here. We have the default Topaz and we also have Topaz Generative. So I'm going to go ahead and click that one. We're going to upscale by a factor of two. And if we now go ahead and compare the original Nano Banana output to our upscaled Topaz generation, you can see just how substantial a difference this tool really does make. The obvious thing is that our resolution is twice what it was before, but it's also added a whole load of extra texture to the image that just wasn't there before. However, now that we have our up image, we can head back to the landing page of Higgsfield and we wanna click on view all visual effects. And if we head back to ChatGPT, we can see that this prompt was engineered for the set on fire visual effect. So we'll go ahead and track that down. And here it is right here. Let's just click on generate. And of course we can go ahead and drag and drop in our up image. We can add some extra prompt details if we wanted to. I'm just gonna leave this field blank and go ahead and hit generate. And we now have back our generation from Higgsfield. So if we take a little look, it's looking pretty cool. Really like the way the flame kind of engulfs my body and it almost has like a lava effect running across my entire form. Now, another great thing about generating videos in Higgsfield as well is that we can go across to the top right hand corner here and just click on the text prompt and it will fill in the field over here. And then if we want to test out a different video generation model, we can just go ahead and for instance, click on Kling 2.1 and it will keep hold of both our reference image and the text prompt. So we can go ahead and generate an output using Kling and see what result we get back from that. And just like that, we have our generation back from Kling. So we'll go ahead and take a watch of this. Not a massive fan of that generation to be completely honest with you. But again, we can just head over here to the model tab and select something like High Lu, and again, click generate. Make sure we select 1080p resolution. And we may even wanna go ahead and try another option as well. Let's do VO3 fast. We can select the resolution of 1080p and you can see this is actually discounted at the minute. It's usually 80 credits right now, it's 22. So we will definitely take advantage of that. So let's check out High Lu. Pretty cool. I like the kind of skull that it's put on my face, like that one. And let's see what we get from VO3. And what I like about this is it's kind of added this almost like tribalistic fiery pattern to my skin texture, but it has also changed me quite a bit, which I'm obviously not the biggest fan of. We can see some kind of strange morphing in the facial area and some really intense sharpening happening as well. But the rain and the fire look pretty great. But you can see that we do have access to a whole load of different options here. I do wanna go ahead back over to the create an image tab. Back to ChatGPT, I want to look for the Thunder God prompt and copy and paste this one in. So you drop this down at the bottom into the text prompt area. Gonna give Nano Banana a go once again. You can see it's retained our image reference that we had before. And let's generate once again, a few different options with Nano Banana. And here we have back our second batch of Nano Banana generations. I really like this one here. The sky is even slightly stormy, which obviously fits with the power that we want. This one here is cool. It's just a little bit too kind of bright to fit the subject matter. And again, this one here is also really nice and it really does look like me. Now, obviously the alley shot and our rooftop shot are both very similar in terms of composition. I believe this is because Nano Banana references pre previous chat history. I'm just gonna go ahead and generate another image with a slight tweak to the text prompt where we don't mention any of the clothing that we have on from the waist down. And the idea there is to draw away Nano Banana's attention from details that we don't want to see to make sure we get the framing back that we're after. Just in case we did want a different variety of shots to build up a scene. And we've also just added extreme close up at the start of the text prompt as well. Let's go ahead and generate a couple of options here. And you can see now we have a variation in terms of shot and it still does really look like me. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure to get this downloaded. We'll go back to Topaz, our high resolution upscaler and drag and drop in the image. This time we'll just hit upscale using the default model just for a bit of a comparison and we are upscaling by a factor of two. This is our original and here is our upscale. It's done an amazing job here. So let's go back to the landing page once again and click on the view all visual effects tab. And now we are looking for our thunder god effect. Okay, here it is here. So we can click on generate once again, drag and drop in our upscaled image and simply hit generate. So we now have back our thunder god video generation from Higgsfield. Let's go ahead and take a look. And that one has worked really, really nicely. I've also gone ahead and generated a whole load of new images using Nano Banana. And pretty much all of them are really great. I love this one here. Both of these in the kind of abandoned train station look really cool and have a great likeness. Me in a basketball court as well. The idea of this one was me sort of transforming into a rock monster. And then a very different vibe and loads of great detail here. Me in Times Square in New York sitting on a pretty cool car. So what we can go ahead and do is upscale each one of these that we like. And then we just head back to the home page, go back to the visual effects tab and literally any effect we want, we can apply directly onto those images, preferably once they've been upscaled. We've also now got a nice variation of different shots as well. And that's simply achieved by adding in different camera angles into the text prompts and actually leaving out details in terms of what we might be wearing from the waist down. So you really can see how it's possible to create a whole host of pretty amazing visual effects all inside of Higgsfield. And once again, guys, if you do want to go ahead and check out the platform, be sure to click the link down below in my description. As always, if you have any questions at all, pop them down below in the comment section. I do try to reply to as many as I possibly can. If you have enjoyed today's video, make sure to drop a like on there for me. Consider subscribing if you are new and of course, ring that bell notification icon so you never miss a future video. Have a great day, guys, and I will catch you on the next one.